actresses who were considered for the part of Scarlett O'Hara were Betty Davis, Tallulah Banker, Catherine Hepburn, and Lucille Ball. Can you remember that? Yeah. I Love Scarlett would have been an alternative title for the show. One of the um, film's directors, uh, George Cuca, helped Olivia de Havilland give a realistic impression of the pain of childbirth by twisting her ankle under the bedclothes whenever she was supposed to be having a contraction. You see, it's all... Can you imagine her going, ah! Oh, dear. Uh, the amount they spent on this show was quite extraordinary. There were 5,500 costumes in all, and accessories, of course. And uh, the women's costumes alone cost nearly $100,000. The laundry bill was in excess of $10,000. Oh. And do you remember that scene that we yeah, showed that yes. uh, Paul Gambachin yes. was showing earlier, where thousands of wounded men are writhing in agony? Well, on the day of the filming, they discovered that they were a thousand extra short. So they produced all these dummies, and uh, they were used to make up the difference, and the extras were told to prod them now again. So, you know, Paul was saying how they all were in set in ranks, well, yeah. it was because they really couldn't move, and the extras lying next to dummies would sort of nudge them occasionally to make them oh. rise. It's extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, what was that infamous quote there? That many soldiers would have won the war. Yes, if, if we'd had that yeah. many soldiers, right. we would have won the war. Yeah. yeah, very much so. Giles, thank you for the time being. Mm -hmm. Another short break, I think.